Okay, here we are. Uh, Dr. Strange makes a point. Uh, related to the concept video, which I think is number 90. Um, I meant to put that in the text here. Um, uh, he says, the notion of knowing beforehand isn't a universal given. I wish it were. <laughs> um, you know, good drawing isn't a universal given either. <laughs> Uh, but I'm an intuitive painter that in, enjoys the process, uh, perhaps more Venetian than Florentine or more heart than head. Discovery is half the fun for me. Uh, yeah, I, I get that. And I, it made me think that you don't know precisely how I mean that word to be used, number one, possibly. Uh, uh, and um, the second, uh, the second uh, question is, are we talking about Impressionist painting, that I say painting, <clears throat> painting from life, or are we talking about imaginative work? And in either case, there's a, the, the concept thing really does always come into play. Uh, it's just, say, in the, in the world of, uh, of the um, maybe the more easy to understand world of um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the imaginative painting, you know, the painting, even the storyteller painting, we have to make everything up from scratch. You have a concept of what you want to say. So that's what I mean by concept. You have an idea. You have in your mind that you want to, to convey, uh, say, the suspense that, for example, in Paul Revere riding through town and everybody peeking out the windows to see where that uh, horse is galloping through the middle of town at midnight or whatever. And uh, so uh, that's an idea, right? And so everybody has ideas like that, right, in terms of the subject, let's say. Um, but what I'm talking about, let's just go and look at a couple pictures. What I'm talking about is actually uh, getting an idea about things in the picture. And I'm talking about the truth now. So we're just talking about how to render. And I'm talking to, really, remember, I'm always talking to impression, students of Impressionism. They say students whose, whose, whose first job is to learn to render the appearances of things uh, with, with authenticity and with power. And um, so that's the truth and beauty uh, thing, if you want to put it that way. So if you look at this Tarbell star, which I've showed you all before, uh, what, are the, what are some of the concepts? For example, uh, when, 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 when um, uh, uh, Tarbell goes out there, he may notice taking in the hole, he's got really a seriously green picture. He may notice, and that's by the way, green is a, it's, it's, kind of, it's not a red picture. He may say that it's, uh, the greens go from cool in the front to, to light and hot in the middle and then dark and warmer in the top of the picture. Those are conceptual, those are relational concepts. Those are the concepts of how things go together. And I often say, and I think I did probably say in the last video, that when we're talking concepts, we're talking about uh, 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 something that will hold several things together at one time. For example, when you're talking about the gesture of the figure, use words like gesture, and you actually mean all these th crazy things, arms going this way, legs going that way, head over here, tilted that way. And, and so what's the gesture? Well, you, you get an idea of it, although it's, a, it's, not a, it's not a fixed one that you own in your hand. You just have a sense of it in your head. And so we mean concept that way as well. Well, you could look at this picture and you say, what's the gesture of this picture? And you'd, he would be sitting there perhaps, and he would start, suddenly notice, looking say, looking at his center of interest, or if, in fact, even having the model sitting out there, he might have put her this way, noticing that the lights and the trees all have this tilt. There, there's a serious swing. And so, so there you are, here, this, this, and this, and this, and this, and you see he's doing this, and he's got another one down here. So he would say, oh, now that's a, that's a, that's a, uh, a, 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 a compositional concept, right? That's a unifying line. And he would have a concept of that, an idea of that, as he's working along. He's just looking at the picture. This is one of those reasons you want to look four times every time you make a mark, because you should go up with a concept. Now, remember the way I used that, Ang's in this thing, uh, talking to his students, in this mindset, talking to his students. And he says, unless you have a concept of the thing fixed in your mind and eye, you'll be pushing shapes around all day long. Well, concept of the thing, right? So that could be the gesture, which is the whole thing. If you're painting, it could be the color scheme of the whole, you know, the color scheme, the play of thin, several colors to each other. If you're painting a figure in a, in a background, um, or like the landscape here. Or it could be um, uh, the, um, it could be the, um, uh, 
the idea of the form. What's the form? You know, the, the, the form. What, get a concept of that form in your mind. And frequently to understand the, the form concept, you have to look at other forms. And by looking at other forms, you have a better idea of what that form does, how it, how it feels, and how, especially how it feels in relation to the other forms. And I mean, what I mean to say is there's a concept of the form itself that's, that's, that's sort of you're helped with. Uh, but then you also have a set of forms, and that's a concept about, like this is the pointier, say a knuckle, at, compared to a, a, a broader form here, compared to a, you know, a long, smooth tube somewhere else. You know, these are various forms that if you see them side by side, each one of them informs the other and helps you get a concept of how, what that form is up to. Uh, and um, so, yeah. And so we could take this thing that we're looking at here as a, and ask what the color scheme is. We said, we, see, we saw the greens, we see the green variations in green, but then there are reds and you're looking for that, you're wondering about that, that red, yellow, blue thing. So notice the, the center of interest, uh, sort of the person sitting there is very warm. And then the trees, the base of the trees are also that, they tend toward a warmness. And I'm talking about sort of literally brown, the, the water, uh, the oranges that you see in this picture. So there seems to be, they're beginning to be a color scheme between the, the reds, the various reds, all talking to each other, get a concept of that. The, um, the uh, 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 well, let's just say the light greens and how they play into each other. Even by the way, in the greens, you might see a movement. This whole side might be going from cool to warm or from lighter to darker as it goes this way. That's you get a concept of that in your mind. That's what, that's what we mean. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. So we don't have to make it into uh, something that affects your ability to work. Uh, in fact, we work by feeling. These kinds of things we do by feeling, but you have to have ownership of them in a conceptual place in your mind. So the sight size mind says, what color is this? What color is this? What color is this? Or what value is this? What value is this? And you try to match them. But that's not a concept. That's just a matching of values. It's a very different world, very different idea. We don't want to know what color this is. We want to know what color this is to the other. Say, well, this, for example, is, could be the, said to be the coldest of all the greens, right? So you have a cold green. You have a less uh, warmer green and a warmer one yet, and then you get up into these really warm greens. Now, can you get an idea of that in your head and get that, sort of let that float around a little bit, get a little ownership? But those are the kinds of things that control you, that help you to, to know when you're there, I guess would be a good way to say it, to know that it's working out. So that's all I mean by a concept. Uh, uh, I hope I'm saying enough. I'll go look at a, I'll go look at a Degas. <laughs> um, this is an imaginative painting, right? So. He has, for example, he has a, an idea of, he's, he decided to make a turquoise picture, shall we say. And he's decided that he's going to use a, um, uh, well, the pink and turquoise right here seems to be significant to him. He seems to want that, it seems to be a starting place. And then he decides to go with pink to orange and your triad winds up being basically that. I mean, there's probably something else. There may even be a, like this cold stuff here. This Actually, there's a blue here. These things actually may be, uh, factors, but let's just say if he's saying you see the colder uh, turquoises up in the top corner here, and you see how they're they're lighter, they're darker and cooler, they're lighter and warmer as you go down. That's a movement, right? You, that's an idea. You have an idea of that. You see that, and you say, oh yeah, and then you start playing those things. So I'm giving you a concept of what Degas is doing. He's put these figures down here, these feet, right? And he's playing games with these feet. You have an idea of the distances between the feet and then the ways they shift, like there's a double foot here and then a single one. And this one's turned, this one's turned way left, this one's turned less left, this one's turned toward you. There's, now have a concept of those three. Have a concept of their spacing in relation to each other, etc. So uh, that's all we mean by concept though. You can take the darks and notice how they play into each other uh, and you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see what his idea is, right? What his what, his, what the game is that he's up to. You can see that with the curves. See the big the sweeping round thing, thing? There's something, this arcing thing sort of goes on through this picture. And you could say it's a laying back arc here and a more vertical one here, and then it tilts over and tilts over. There's a, there's a logical pros, progress here, which if you're trying to get ownership of your composition, you've got to get a handle on so that you can actually f make sure that it stays. It, you know, once you understand what the game is, what, what's giving you the beauty, um, but that thing that you're understanding is a concept. It's, that's, a, that's an idea 
about how the long lines are going to work, much like in the, uh, in the uh, tarballs a second ago. So I don't know what else I can say about that. You know, uh, an idea, for example, of the, just as you said, the intensity of this color, you get an idea of this color by looking at this color. You could even get an idea of this color by looking at, I mean, purely this color, but I'm talking about the intensity now, or the lightness of it. You get a concept of the lightness. This is the lightest foot, right? If you look at all these feet, there's a, there's, this is the lightest foot. It's the lightest, might be the lightest light in the picture, I don't know. But in that, but how do you have a concept of what, whether that is unless you look bigger and say, oh yeah, that's the lightest foot, right? That's why I say the only thing that blocks you, if, if you do sight size, you're just matching values, you'll never, see the, you'll never see the need for these kinds of concepts. You won't see it at least not as, it won't be as evident or, I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I wonder if that's clear enough. What else could I tell you about the idea of concept? I don't like it uh, for you to be out there being troubled because this should be actually be a benefit to you. And um, your point though, let me, uh, re let's all read it together again, the notion of knowing beforehand. So when, what, this knowing beforehand, that's what the thing that probably unnerved me when I first saw that quote from, from, from Ang. I thought, what does he mean, a preconceived idea? We come into the room with preconceived ideas? No, you draw them from nature. You co they come from nature. Uh, you don't really have a preconceived idea unless, unless you, somebody's given you a decorative problem and you have to make a pyramid, for example, then you have a preconceived idea of the composition. Uh, but it's still an idea of the composition. It's still an idea, but it's preconceived. But the preconceived means just when you're starting, Look, Paxson would say, look four times for every time you make a mark. It's because you need to get a concept of what you got there. Even if it's just the shape of the, the, you know, the run of the bumps on the leg, you need to look at that until you actually have a concept of it, an ownership of the thing as a, as a continuum. And even better, if you can get the ownership of this one, talking to this one, talking to this one into your mind, right? The whole concept, the, the interplay of those is a con You have to conceptualize that. You have to conceive of that. But knowing beforehand might be the thing that's the obstacle for you. I don't know anything beforehand any more than you do, and I really just enjoy the discovery process too. Um, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah. I wonder if there's anything else I can say. I really think that's it. So let's, let's, let's call it a day, and, and, and if you want to do more with me, just, just yell. Um, I want to say, by the way, uh, I really did appreciate this week. There were like four really nice uh, points like this that people are making, and I really appreciate it. It isn't a question of whether, you know, uh, uh, Dr. Strange here was sort of apologizing for saying he doesn't agree. Well, disagree. I mean, there's nothing wrong. I mean, I, you know, not, he's, he wasn't disagreeable, so I wasn't put off by that. I like the, I like the, the interplay of ideas, right? I mean, ideas meaning what's your idea about this versus my idea about that. There's, there's magic in, in the middle somewhere, right? So, okay. Um, and in the meantime, by the way, thank you for that, but thank you for the comments, uh, the subscription, you know, all you guys are subscribing is great, and, uh, and the donations and uh, sharing, and we'll look forward to seeing you uh, in just a few days.